Paul Cardis with Avid Ratings. And with me today, I have Ruiz Holmes, the 2009 Avid Diamond Award winner, the best customer experience in America. And with me, I have Bill Lurz, Senior Editor of AvidBuilder.com. Hi, Bill. Hello, Paul. Let me introduce the Ruiz team. I have Jesus Ruiz, the owner of Ruiz Homes, Monica Ruiz, Head of Selections, Wyo Ruiz, VP of Sales, Saul Macias, Construction and Customer Service, and Carlos Ruiz, Estimating and Purchasing. Welcome. Thank you. And congratulations for winning the uh, Avid Diamond Award. Truly an honor to be the best builder uh, in America in customer satisfaction. Turn it over to you, Bill. Thanks, Paul. Well, I, you know, I want to congratulate you, first of all, on your Avid Index score of 284.495, which is not only the best in the country, but one of the best in the history of this award program. And uh, the first thing I should ask you is, what do you believe you do best? What accounts for such phenomenal customer satisfaction? I think we, we uh, take care of the client. Uh, you know, we, we try to deliver a home that we'd be proud of, uh, proud to live in. Okay. What do you do differently uh, that results in such high recommend to a friend scores? Uh, we don't deliver an unfinished home. That's uh, first and uh, first and foremost. Uh, we have a, a process that we follow uh, prior to uh, 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 giving the home buyer orientation, which is basically an introduction. Uh, into owning a home since I'd say about 80% of our clients are first time uh, home buyers. So basically through our uh, home buyer orientation process is how to take care of a, of a new home. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and prior to us delivering a home to the client, we go through about a 120 point uh, inspection that uh, our builder has to meet uh, and uh, deliver to our you know customer service uh, builder. Uh, if the customer service builder accepts the home, then he's now takes on the So essentially the builder who's responsible for building the house has to sell it to, to our, customers to customer service, service. Exactly. before customer service then walks the house with the buyer. Exactly. Uh, how, how long after uh, that handoff takes place does the final walk with the customer? Oh, it usually it takes. Uh, it, it happens uh, right away. As soon as as soon as we're ready for with the closing docs uh, and whatnot, uh, there's seldom that we'll have items uh, that there's any any concerns. That's part of our uh, at the uh, when we actually deliver the keys. Uh, you know, it's one of my questions at the at the closing table, and my brother's questions or Mercedes when we go to the closing table. Did we address any any concerns you may have had at the at the walkthrough? And you know. 9.999% of the time, things have been addressed. Yeah, it's now, a, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, yeah, maybe we could get comments from these people down here about that about that whole uh, handoff uh, from the builder side to uh, to the customer service side. Well, uh, Saul is actually the one that performs the orientations uh, for all our customers. And uh, we feel it's important that they meet the, the person uh, that they're going to be, you know, referred to uh, whenever they do have any issues that arise. So he's the guy that the builder has to sell the house to, right? Yeah. How does that work? Do you guys uh, ever reject a house? Do you ever feel like maybe it's not quite ready and give them another couple of days or a week to get it done? No. No, they 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 don't. It always comes across pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's an innovative process that you guys have. In fact, uh, uh, it's it's a it's one of a kind. To be honest with you, I haven't seen anything like it uh, in other places, and it works. And I know that you're a multiple of Avid Award winner, and your quality's been great for years. So I know that folks uh, around the country are curious about this this way that you do business because it, it is unique. And it, and it actually used to be even more right. We had a three, than we had it is now. Right? We used to have a three builder approach. Uh, basically, we had a structural builder, mm -hmm. and then a finished builder, and then our uh, customer service and, and warranty builder, which uh, Saul, I think he's being a little bit modest right now. He does come up with a bunch of items on the list uh, prior to the client actually getting the home. Right. Um, and it's, you know, uh, uh, first hand, you know, he doesn't want to get that call uh, on our 30 day, on our 30 day list. So he goes through, mm -hmm. through each home with a, with a fine tooth. You know, with a fine tooth bone. 
So are you going into that house a little before the actual transition occurs to give the guys kind of a heads up on what they need to do? Is that what I heard? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. So it's not it's not it's not just a one time thing. You're you're actually. Um, you want to describe what you do? Interacting with them over the over a period of a week. I understand. Or so. in Spanish. That's fine. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can speak Spanish. Uh, yes, uh, well, you can if you want. That'd be fine. We can translate if you wish. Yeah, they'll speak in Spanish. That's sure. fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll, that's great. La pregunta de él es cuando haces el la que te entregan a ti el que está construyendo la casa y tú así haces la inspección que qué es lo que hayas en la casa y qué es lo que haces después de eso y que si se las regresas a ellos para que la terminen antes de tú tomarla y luego ya introducirse las tiendas. Ok, la primera cosa es, ah, Jesús nos, nos, nos ha dicho que es como si nosotros vamos a comprar la casa. So first, es una first, casa que yo voy a comprar. First of all, Jesús uh, says that before he takes possession of the house, uh, he needs to make sure that he would be purchasing that house for himself. Mm -hmm. So, lo, lo, lo que hago es, uh, trato como si es mi casa, voy a checar agua, que esté corriendo el agua en los toilets, que esté funcionando todos los outlets, uh, todo un proceso de checar tiles, de 100% checar todo, y uh, tenemos un checklist, y ese checklist se le da al, al supervisor. Basically what I do is I, I really take possession of the house as if I were going to buy it. Mm -hmm. I make sure that everything's working, like the water, the plumbing, the hot water, the electrical outlets, every single outlet uh, to make sure that they're working tile uh, that was placed and set properly to where the house is really completed and at that point then they take it to the next uh, level. But do you have an interplay with the, with the builder um, before the walk and the checklist are, are juntas, gone over with? Te juntas con el constructor antes de hacer el, el, la inspección de la, de la casa o la haces uh, ya cuando te la entrega. Ok, el proceso él me la debe de entregar primero, pero prefiero estar solo e inspeccionar la casa yo solo sin tener la presión de ellos de que verifique todo rápido. So prefiero hacerlo solo. Usually, yes, but I like to do it by myself just to make sure that everything is complete before I, I go to the next level. So even before the builder hands it over to him, mm -hmm. he likes to go in there and see firsthand mm -hmm. what's going on before he takes possession of the house. Good. So it's yeah. kind of a, like a team approach, and instead of just, and I'm talking uh, based on what he's saying, trying to translate, sure. is instead of him waiting for the builder to come in and deliver the house to him, mm -hmm. he's being proactive and yeah. going out there and finding out if there's additional things pending uh, that they may have not seen properly. So it's a team approach where they help each other and make sure that they deliver a good product. That, that's what I ends, thought I which, heard. And which I, ends up with, with this sure. work. Excellent. Yeah, because it does. So for some folks that might try this, they may set up for failure because it becomes, you know, a clash. But you're partnering along the way to get to the end goal, and I, and that's that's great. It that makes sense.